side, looking at the eight best things for your health. And this morning, if you're pouring a cup of coffee, asking yourself this, already I have to get up. You may be asking yourself too, why am I not sleeping enough, right? Oh yeah, if you are like most of us, it could be better. Amanda Shabari joins us now to talk about how we can catch those much needed Z's. I think we all want them. And Gail and Marco, good news, bad news situation here. The bad news, most of us aren't getting enough good sleep. The good news, it's pretty easy to fix. You've heard it before, the amount of shut-eye you should be getting every night. Six hours of sleep at night to about eight hours of sleep. But do you really realize what a lack of sleep is doing to your body? When you fall out of that six to eight hour range, it can impact everything from your weight to your blood pressure, your memory, heart health, and even your life. That there is um, decreased um, survival when people are getting five and hours or less and 10 hours of more of sleep. Bottom line, straight from the doctor. The biggest thing, and it's the hardest thing to do, is to prioritize sleep. If you have a hard time falling asleep, even after counting sheep, give yourself a wind down period. This means no electronics, no phones, no computer an hour before bed. Try relaxing with a bath, reading, or maybe a journal. Tossing and turning at night? Don't look at the clock. Because once you look at the clock, you're already starting to use mental processing. It's better just to get out of bed, do a quiet activity. Do not open up the laptop. Do not open up the cell phone. <laughs> just do a nice, quiet activity until you start feeling drowsy again, and then go back to the bedroom. Things to avoid to get a better night's rest? Six hours before bed, stay away from caffeine, alcohol, and cigarettes. And that can wake people up at night, having that sensation that I need, I'm craving a cigarette. Even when you're awake, you can be setting your body up for a good night's sleep. Get away from your desk, walk around, head outside and soak up the sunlight. Believe it or not, all of this will help you when it's time for your head to hit the pillow. And the most interesting part for me was that advice to put away your phones and computers an hour before bed. You've probably heard it before. That blue light on your devices tricks your brain into thinking it's daylight, and that keeps you up. So for the last few days, I've been putting this to the test at my home with my own little sleep study. You can check out my results by heading to my Instagram, Amanda underscore Shavari. And guys, I saw a big difference. It's amazing in the quality of sleep. I'm still not sleeping very long. Right. Only about four hours last night, but my quality of sleep so much better when you just put it away. You know, and there was just a big study released that said we should be at least getting seven. Yeah. And if not, you know, you're increasing your risk of early death by like 65%. That's it's amazing. Scary. Something crazy. Yeah. Your yeah. blood pressure goes up. It really affects all of your body. Wow. All right. Thanks so much, Amanda. Well, happy to